I cried. I quite literally, I teared up and cried. New at 11, the cost of expansion. Tonight, some Hamden neighbors upset about Quinnipiac's plan to add seats to its field hockey arena. And News 8 just learned moments ago that that plan has been approved and those extra seats are going in. That expansion will ensure equality between the boys and girls athletic programs, but some neighbors tonight say they're worried about the extra noise and what it's doing to their neighborhood. Hi, everybody. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nyberg, and Craig is off. The field sits just steps away from Sleeping Giant, and some are worried that when the expansion is completed, their quiet hikes won't be so quiet anymore. News 8's Bob Wilson spoke to them. It was a long meeting. Lots of people coming forward on both sides to say why Quinnipiac University should or should not be allowed to add more seats to a second field. They've already got one approved by planning and zoning. And a lot of people seeing that construction underway, and they say it's tearing at their hearts. Just destroying the environment. That used to be a field we used to play in. About 50 people packed into the town hall in Hamden, most angry and outspoken over Quinnipiac University's request to add 500 seats to their girls' field hockey arena. They have uh, done a lot of damage to that area. They've turned down a, torn down excuse me, a lot of the trees along the road. They have the Jersey barriers are right up to the roadway. So the first stadium, the soccer field, has already been approved and is under construction right now. It's the girls' field hockey arena that we're talking about. And when you think of the word stadium, you think of a massive arena like the basketball stadium that holds 5,000 people and has room for 500 more standing. This field is going to hold about 500 seats. They say, in reality, it won't be much bigger than it is now. But still, some say... It's the shattering of the quiet that bothers them. You wouldn't build a convent or a monastery or a hospital next to a sports stadium. And that's people go there for healing and for, um, for spirit. Quinnipiac is trying to meet the Title IX requirements by building equal facilities for everyone, but not everyone is happy with their facilities. And I understand that Quinnipiac, when they build, do, do build attractive, they do build attractive buildings and attractive landscape. But manufactured landscape is very different from wild landscape. Now, the current field that's under construction should be completed, ready to use for the fall of 2017. And Quinnipiac says they're going to try to make this construction as painless as possible. We're in News Control, Bob Wilson, News 8.